Hello everybody. It's me. I'm back. Yes, I painted my fingernails. I was, this whole virus thing just got me to the point where I was feeling down and in the dumps. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to put some pretty color on my fingernails. And then wouldn't you know, they now require us at work to wear gloves so nobody can see the pretty colors on my fingernails, but that's okay. Whatever. Um, it's time to do the drawing for the uh, artwork. I uh, ended up with 49 um, comments on YouTube and um, 12, 10? No, yeah, 12 from, uh, 12 from Facebook. So I decided I was going to draw 10 uh, names. I'm going to draw two from the Facebook group and eight from the YouTube group. That makes them approximately even odds. Uh, two out of 12 um, from Facebook and eight out of 49 from YouTube comes about the same odds. Not exactly, but as close as I could get it. I could have put them all in one group, but then I thought, you know, the, the people from... Facebook, there's a possibility that nobody from the Facebook comments would win. And I didn't think that was fair. So um, I decided to do it this way. I'm going to do 10 uh, drawings. And the reason I chose 10 is because I have five international stamps left. And I really don't want to go to the post office. So I figured uh, the odds are in my favor that I will have not more than five international winners. So that's what I chose. So yes, I have a hat, a regular old hat. I, I cut up, I made um, uh, screenshots of each of the comments and then I printed them out. I cut them all out. I did remove anybody who had uh, duplicates. So if you commented more than once, you only get one, uh, one chance to win. And now I'm going to pull eight. These are the um, YouTube ones. The Facebook ones I have separate. So we'll start with YouTube. And I got a little cloth here to cover my hat so you guys know that I am not looking at who I'm pulling out. So um, let's do... Uh, mix them all up really good. And let's do this one. Steve, can you see that? Steve Murray. Steve, congratulations. You are one of my winners. So I'm just going to set this aside over here. That's number one. Number two is, why am I closing my eyes? That's weird. I'm closing my eyes even though I don't have to because I can't see because of the towel. I just want to make sure I'm only getting one. No, nope, that's two. One. Just one. Okay. Charo. Charo RP. Can you see that? I didn't turn on my overhead light. and Maybe I should have. Hang on a second. Let me turn on my overhead light. It's kind of dark and gloomy in here today. So, okay. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little better. Charo RP. Uh, she does not speak English, but that's okay. Congratulations. I don't have to know your language to be able to send you some of my art, right? And let's make sure we get all mixed up in here. And this one. Nancy Pearson. Congratulations, Nancy. I recognize that name. I recognize Steve's name, too, for being a frequent commenter, at least lately. So, congratulations to my my frequent uh, watchers. Let's see, that was three, right? Here's number four. This one. Um, Kim Bennett. Congratulations. And number five, this one, Karen Buchanan. 
number six. Right? Am I counting right? You guys keep me keep me honest here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, this will be number six. This one. Nine N E E R A. They don't use their real name for their YouTube account, which is fine. You don't have to, but you will eventually have to tell me who you are. Okay, so that's six. Two more. Mix it all up again. Not that they're not already really mixed, but they're... Okay. J Designs. J Designs. And one more. This one. Miriam Kada. Hello from Greece, it says right there. So I know that one's going to be international. Awesome. Okay. So those are my eight from YouTube. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thing off my hat. I'm going to take all these not winners and I'm going to throw them in the trash. If you didn't win, I'm sorry. I just don't have enough postage to send 50 plus 12, 62. I don't have enough stamps to send 62, or I would. I would. I just, I just, I can't afford that right now. We are, we are in desperate times here. Okay, so let me make sure that that's completely empty. Turn it upside down. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, so then in here where I tucked the cuttings from the ones from Facebook. Dump those all out of that. And I put pink on the back of the Facebook ones because um, I initially thought I was going to dump them all together and then I wanted to know where to contact the winners. So I thought, oh, I better know whether there, a, it's a Facebook comment or if it's a YouTube comment. But then I decided to do them separate anyway, so anyway. So that's that. Okay, so ready? We need two out of here. I'm sure I'm only getting one. Deborah Buchanan. Are you related to Karen Buchanan? I don't know, but it's a separate person, it's got different, um, if you are the same person, if you happen to use Karen on YouTube and Deborah on Facebook, let me know um, so that I can draw an extra winner. You know what, I think I'll draw a, a, a runner up just in case that person happens to be the same. I don't know why they would be, but you never know. And Sheila C. Salone. Salone. Anyway, that's that one. And then I am going to pick a, a third one just in case Deborah and Karen are the same person. I don't think they are, but this is my runner up. Or in case somebody never contacts me. You never know. Sometimes nobody contacts me afterwards. Dee Dee Felicia. Um, Dee Dee, uh, contact me anyway. And then if one of the others does not contact me, then you get it instead. That is my final decision. Here are the others. We're going to toss them out. I'll just stick my hat on my head because I have to carry it back into the house anyways. And, um, yeah, here we go. Those are them. I want to put them out so I take a picture of them so I remember who is who and where the rest of them go. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's all of them. Haha. <laughs> all right. Silly me. And then these two at the top here are the ones from Facebook, and then one extra just in case. I'm gonna zoom in on them. And then, um, what I need you guys to do, I'm going to under your comments on either Facebook or YouTube, I'm going to uh, put congratulations, you've won. And um, I will give you my email address um, in the comment, but I'll also go ahead and do it here. This is a separate email that I have just for when I do drawings. Uh, and our giveaways. I don't use it for anything else. So don't contact me there because I will not see it until the next giveaway. I went in and found that some people had been trying to communicate with me from the previous giveaway, which was months and months and months ago. And um, they were one of the winners. And then they were trying to engage in conversation. But I never went back to that email address until just now. So I won't see it if you contact me again after I'm done mailing out all of these. I'll mail them out and then I'll wait in case you want to uh, contact me and say that uh, you've received them. Otherwise, uh, I don't check this email. So it's just drawtangles at gmail.com. Um, but I will reply to each one of these so that uh, you get a notification. In case you don't happen to see this drawing video, uh, you will at least get notification. And like I said, if any one of you does not answer me within, let's say, a week or so, I know that the world is crazy. My work schedule is now gone completely bonkers. I'm going to be working six days this week, maybe seven days this week. Uh, we're exhausted. I don't know what's going to happen moving forward. I don't know when I'm going to have time to do any more videos moving forward. So whatever I have scheduled already might be it for a little while. So they're scheduled all the way through. I want to say the middle of March. I didn't bring my calendar out here. Middle. We are in the middle of March. Never mind. Scheduled through the first part, first week of April, I think. Um, but after that, I don't know. And I, so if I have some days where I don't draw, it's because the world has gone crazy. Um... But if I get sent home for any reason and I have time to draw, I absolutely, that's what I will do with my time. Um, but anyway, uh, Didi, if none of these others con contact me, please do contact me and I will uh, send you off something if one of these others don't. All right. And uh, you guys have a great day. Do something nice for someone today. If you are... Um, have been sent home and you're now cooped up at home draw have some fun share them with me share them with the group um if you are somebody who is like me who is actually working harder than you usually do because um you're one of the few places that is still open um you know take care of yourself try to be as healthy as you can um we're now wearing gloves uh my manager gave found a mask uh, it was hard for her to find, but she found her husband's in construction. He had some masks in, in his construction uh, office or wherever he works. Um, I tried wearing a mask at work, but uh, the mask, it, it, it was hard to breathe. I'll, I'll grant you it was hard to breathe, which means it was working properly. However, I have trifocals and the mask with my glasses was making me nauseous because my glasses weren't sitting correctly on my face and I couldn't see and I had to work and it just wasn't working. So I'm doing my best to keep healthy. We're spraying the Lysol, we're wiping down our surfaces, we're wearing gloves, but I just can't do the mask thing, at least not yet. Um, if they force me to, I'll have to just take my glasses off and then I can't see. So it's 
<laughs> it's a thing, right? But we will do what we have to do. Um, you guys stay safe. Uh, do the best you can to weather this storm. It will not last forever. It will feel like it's lasting forever, but it will not last forever. And you know what? If you are a healthy individual and you are able and capable of going out, find those people who, in your neighborhood, in your family, in your church, wherever. If they need, you have somebody elderly who needs someone to go grocery shopping for them or needs to go pick up their medications at the drugstore, um, please reach out to them and and do those little tasks for them so that they are not out in the public. They're the most vulnerable. Um, and, uh, and we don't want to expose them to unnecessary risks. You know, those of us who are, uh, well, I guess uh, technically I might be considered elderly. I'm, I'm above the 55. I'm not quite over the 70. I'm not that far, but you know, I'm, I'm above 55. So some people are seeing me as elderly, but, um, you know, I'm in good health and, um, hopefully I don't get this thing, but you know, it's all we can do. I, I work in a place where people come because they're sick. I don't know, but I'm not going to stay home. I'm not going to panic. I'm going to rely on my faith and I'm going to rely on others to just be sensible. And, um, I'm going to rely on myself to be cautious and, and we'll get through this. We'll all get through it together. And hopefully a little thing in the mail from me to you guys uh, will help cheer you up in this time. So go out and do something nice today. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.